to WTFRC cars. So, a bit of an update on the lap monitor system. So, here we have the lap monitor transponder mount, carbon fibre one, that's meant to be designed to fit on the X-ray in a few other cars, but if I can get that to focus, if you look where it lines up, if you fit it on there, it then jams the centre diff. So that's going to need a bit of shaving down, bit of an oversight. So lap monitor, if by any chance you manage to watch this, it's worth you noting that the X-Ray 2020 car, XB4, like most of the others, can have a centre diff and not just a slipper clutch. And your carbon fibre mount, as it is, won't work. So, here we are again back in garage, sorting out yet another company's mistakes. So what we need to do is take a tiny amount of meat away from that to allow it to um, miss the centre diff. So we're going to try and grind it away carefully with a grinding stone. I'm back in a minute. Right, so a bit of careful sanding across there with grinding stone. Got it nice and smooth. You've got to watch carbon fibre when you're uh, sanding it because it gets a bit sharp. But now we need a test fit, see if we've got enough clearance. And there you go. So took a tiny bit of meat away from the leading edge. And now no fouling whatsoever on the centre diff. Right, so we now have the transponder mounted on Velcro. So we can remove it, swap it between cars. Um, we've got the power cable running down into a spare channel on the receiver. Uh, you just want to make sure your wires aren't going to foul on your drive shaft. Because that would uh, seriously uh, put a dampener on your day. Uh, do quite like the way they've made this bracket. So you can route the battery cables around it. That works quite well. But uh, yeah, it fits rather nice. Um, only thing to consider is obviously which way round you're driving round your track and where you're going to put the lap monitor receiver unit because you want that pointing towards it. Um, one thing to consider when you are using them is they will pick up from up to five meters away. So you don't want to have your lap monitor facing into the track where you could be coming back so if you start at this point and kind of go round and round like that you don't want your lap monitor on the outside of the track facing in as when you come back round you're then going to be facing it again and you could accidentally trigger it so you want it on the inside facing the outside of your track or on uh, this case with the way we have the track set up the lap monitor will be here and the only time it will face it is when it's coming down this direction on the outer straight it will never be able to flash back on it. Um, so again, if you like, like and subscribe. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Any comments, leave below. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks again for watching WTFRC Cars.